What is up guys, Son of Beast here. It is game three of the NBA Finals as the Lakers are at Milwaukee to take on against the Bucks. Right now, the Bucks has taken a tie with one to one series with the Lakers. But we are saddened by the radical injuries, but I'm just saying this is really that bad with all the Black Lives Matter. So if you were around here for our $1 million, we would like to give it up for the uh, Dream My Team lineups in the episode 39. We're really sure that this is really bad for uh, about George Floyd, that we know everything about him. So if you don't know who George Floyd is, he's a, he's a black person that this everything knows about him. But we can never think about what happened to him. But all the Black Lives Matter, they need to do one. But the white people, they need to care about them. And, and act nice and be kind to them. That's what they need to do for the uh, for the resume. So but the next but my set to resume the next month. I'm gonna say the Bucks if I if I if it'll ever happen again. Not so long ago, it might be a lot more to get things done. So episode 39 is the Dream My Team lineups. But if you want to watch one, you could do that right on your uh, 2K TV. In the meantime, game three, here we go, fellas. It's a nice sunset going on here in Milwaukee. But the game is never going to be showing you after they win in game one of the series. The Lakers are just keeping up and going again. But what the Bucks, Giannis has something to tell for everyone to get right from the position. Let's take a look at the 2K pregame show. Here we have it. NBA action tonight. The Milwaukee Bucks going up against the Los Angeles Lakers. Last game for the Lakers, they ended up with a loss to the Rockets in Houston. They got caught flat-footed, lost a game they felt should have been theirs. Looking to turn the page here. And Coach Mike Budenholzer, what a situation he walked into with the Bucks. Already, it looks like a great match. Yeah, he starts out with an MVP candidate. Plus, he's got a lot of talent on that roster. He's taking his teams to places they weren't even going to smell last year. And Budenholz is a coach you want for a competitor. Not a rebuilding team, but going from Atlanta to Milwaukee, whoo, that was a blessing from him. Oh, he, me, also, he, oh, oh he, blessing. He, he, he. You know who's from Milwaukee? You. The yep. main streets? From the main young. streets of Milwaukee. East side or west side? Shout out North 68th Street. North side. North side. Mm -hmm. Wow. Here's Kevin Harlan. He's got the call. Yep, the North Street. I'm saying a lot of times happens here in Milwaukee with the mean street of the Greek freak. He knows everything what he can do, but a lot of things happening with a change. Hi, everyone. This is Serve Dot Forum here at Game 3 in Milwaukee. This gaming, we are never seen the spot of LeBron James taking up against Giannis. Here's DA with nothing. The Bucks took a massive leap in Coach Mike Budenholzer's first season in Milwaukee. Budenholzer said he joined the organization at the perfect time. The new facilities, the energetic fans, the great roster, ownership, front office, everything is set up to have great success. And he added, I feel fortunate to be the coach. Kevin? The feeling, no a lot of feeling about Mike Budenholzer's seasonal record that was being put up this season. But a lot of scoring average is putting up a lot of players, including the man himself, Brooke Lopez. And he found his uh, brother that he wants to be played with, Robin Lopez, after last season when playing with the Chicago Bulls in the uh, 2018-19 season. But here are the starting lineups for the uh, Los Angeles Lakers in the box as Anthony Davis take on against Giannis Antetokounmpo in a key matchup of the point four the position. Four position. Menace LeBron James taking on against Middleton and a small four. Wesley Matthews against Danny Green and shooting guard. Lenzo against Bradley in point guard. And Lopez against McGee in the center. Here we go, fans. This is game three. We're going to see who will win the third game. Here's Davis. He started out with his last most improved player in game one by that season. He wasn't able to was determined to be a Jordan player in the game, but only Giannis Antetokounmpo was in there to try to keep it in the originating of the game. James with no luck. 
the first shot went off, but McKee recovered. How do I lock in and play defense? Bradley Bledsoe with the steal. Here's Bledsoe with the 2 on 1. Wesley Matthews still has the ball. That will be the first steal for Eric Bledsoe to be pointed out. After the Bruins three pointer that didn't go, didn't try to get one in. Five on the clock. Here's, Here's Giannis. First shot goes in for the baseline. Poor design there defensively. They, they what a shot! What a jumper here for uh, Giannis after Jacupo to be blowing up in. But that's how you know you never see it that coming. Bradley with the first shot, he missed. McGee takes the recover and he takes the first point lead. JaVale McGee is out here. When he hustles like this, his coaches and teammates know. Here's Chris, Chris, Weber, Chris Weber with the commentators by Greg Anthony and Kevin Harlan. Middleton in the middle, covered by James. James past to Matthews. Shoots over Green. First rebound, Burke Lopez. Using reverse slam, but McGee takes a defensive rebound. Converting those, I mean, a lot of converting rebounds are just pulling up away. And there is a dunk by LeBron James, assist by Danny Green. Once he does, he's looking to dunk it. Matthews to Middleton. Middleton going rolling over to Bill Bledsoe, but he was looking an eye out to find out who was open. Not too much to say about the Bucks, but they need to go with an open offensive look. Lopez against McGee. Base he shoots over McGee. First bucket goes in for Brooke Lopez. Lopez has been dangerous to get throughout his career. You got to guard him closely. The Lakers have gone two Lakers or two to four so for the field goal after the second game was over. Bradley taking a three. The wide open shot no good, but McGee recovers it. His second time rebound. Almost calling it for the jump ball. Anthony Davis takes the first two. If there's a list of the best inside scorers in the NBA, Davis has got to be right at the top. When he gets his hands on the ball down low, you might as well just count it. Oh, Brooke Lopez rolling it over to Middleton as a James made a cover being two at that moment. Giannis missing again. Lakers are keeping another rebound right in the podium. Davis with the dunk and assist by James. That'll be his first assist for in game three, but not that long. Only the other couple players made some assists. Here's Lopez, still looking around, but not able to pick up a pace moment. Rolls it over to Bledsoe. First three will be up for Bledsoe. And the Bucks take the trail by one. Bradley, only the first one that just never got a chance to make the three, but he only makes a two. These type of challenges, they, they don't face Bradley. He's experienced at overcoming aggressive defenses, just like right there. Matthews taking the two. He also will take the first pointer of the night. Nice assist to pick up by uh, Eric Bledsoe to put it up in the first quarter. But James and other teams are just starting off strong. McGee against Brooke Lopez. Only the first steal was on uh, on Eric Bledsoe, and a first second rebound by McGee. And it's Bradley making the two. First timeout will be called by Milwaukee. Two fifty-three left. And they're taking a lot more time to go up with the different kind of shots they're making up with. But their first time out with the game, they stopped the clock by two fifty-three left. And Mike Budenholzer needs to switch it up on another look on the offense. I'm gonna bring up the Bucks 2018. Nope. Uh, Crash that off. Actually, no, limit the transaction and then the uh, average. And then I will, uh, we gotta go through some playthroughs and stuff all over the court. And find, uh, this is for Giannis on Cooper that needs to get there in time. I should never let that happen already. A platoon swap here for. Couple of players are switching in as Lily Sofa is checked in. And George Hill has checked in for Eric Bledsoe for this, for this game. Only nine points that far. Two assists was able to be founding on the court. But, uh, but I'm thinking he might be solid that time. I'm not keeping an eye on the uh, on the player that was looking at him. 
He just played to his strength. Hard a pull with a, with a jumping motion and a, into a drive. And that was the steal that was recently on Rondo. The shot for real, no good. Nice D on Rondo. That was covering up. Carbo Pope with another two, and it's good! He made the three! That is first three pointer for Carbo Pope, his second bucket of the night. Robin Lopez rolling it up to Connaughton, pass over to Hill. Outside Hill. Hill pass to Robin Lopez. Here's DiVincenzo take the three. His first shot, no good. And it's Kuzma with the ball for Los Angeles. Seven points. Kuzma sends the dunk. What a slam that puts him in. A first pointer of a night. Robin Lopez going over it. Nice ball movement. Good ball movement for uh, for the Bucks to be putting up in. Outside hill. Rolling it over to Robin Lopez. Bouncing a pass. Incomplete. It's stolen by Cardwell Pope. Oh, Howard! Wow, what a dog this is! It looked like the same thing, just like Giannis Antetokounmpo was sending it out. But the Bucks are need to stop the timeout because they're not doing well, well enough, and they gotta do it again. Made some couple changes here as they're gonna go up with the flow that time. But checking out for the league leaders for the Lakers, they got 6.8 by the blocks of this game for this season. And the Bucks only came up in third place with six. They have been uh, quite blocking out with a lot of time effort here once he was going over to take a look at it. I don't think anybody else was going to figure it out what the block should be. What a nice three-pointer for Connaughton to pull out after after the assist by made by Hill. Here's Rondo. Morris outside, at least over on the cover. Finds Howard, dunks it in. Assist by Morris. Minute left to play. DiVincenzo going up in the arrow lane, past the hill, rolls up, and the foul's going on Howard. His first personal foul, his first trip to the free throw line will be on George Hill. Well, he, he could have had that block shot at that game, but watch him again. I don't think he didn't make it that time. I think he went a little bit too late uh, with, the, with the blocking, with the heavy contest shot. I don't think he didn't uh, get there get there in time. So the clock has stopped at 52.5 seconds left. First shot for Hill is good. Robin Lopez, Lily Sofa, and DiVincenzo. And Connaughton are checked out. Three players are checked in as Corfer Williams are checked in as Ailey Sofa switches to the center. Marvin Williams. Second free throw for Hill is good. Rondo back in the other lane. Just 50 seconds under. Rondo against Gill. Rondo going over the floor. The jump shot from the elbow is good. The Lakers are leading up to its position by 10. They're completely in disarray. Hill going in. The drive. Shot's good. Howard with the second personal foul. No foul called, called on Morris that time. But he might. Only first person that was fouled was Howard. Two at two for the game at the line. Caruso is checked in for Morris. And Kuzma is switching over. Point forward with Carswell Pope switching into small forward. One shot left for Hill. He made one in. He's dropping it in. All of a sudden, they are coming down, trailing by seven. Caruso's first drive. And it's good. First bucket will be on uh, Caruso to pick it out. And that's like before the end of the first quarter. 25 seconds left to go. Here's Williams. Load the plate. Rolling it over to Hill. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Finding a man look. Corfer with the three. 
Nice shot from the range, and the first assist will go by Hill. First three-pointer for Kyle Corford to put it up in the first quarter. Rondo passes to Kuzma. Three seconds with the buzz beater. Oh, and he made it that in. Just happened here in game three. Kyle Kuzma, four points. Second quarter was just not going to be that easier. Only the first quarter was coming out to a strong move. Second quarter is under next. After this. Second period is on your way next. And here we go. Hill with only two assists of the game. And he passed by down with Corfer on the game. First two-pointer will be on Corford, not the three-pointer. Nearly so far, no problem over Howard, and that'll be his first bucket of the night. Great pass assist by Kyle Corford. First pointer will be on Ailey Sofa. Yeah, in that first period, they that first period was just a strong move here. It was too much to control with, but I think this is not happening. That's that's not how we start in the first period. Hardwell Pope coming in against Steven Chenzo with the elbow. Missed out again. Ilya Sopa takes the first rebound of the game. Ronda Caruso, Howard Carwell, Pope, and Kuzma are right on the uh, starting lineup in the second period. And it's Kuzma with the steal. First steal for Kuzma that was been played. And it's blocked by Ilya Sopa. Let's catch the fourth member crew, David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, Chris Middleton was a first-time All-Star in 2019. We all know that Middleton is one of the league's best shooters, but he had to adjust his game to a new system under coach Mike Budenholzer. Middleton said, I guess that's what being an All-Star is, a team player and a complete player, not playing for stats, playing for nothing else but to win. Kevin? First time All-Star in Wimbledon. Great time for to make an All-Star for Milton that was played. Acha Kupo's checked in for Ilya Sofa, and it's Anthony Davis checked in for Cardwell Pope as Kyle Kuzma switches over to a point forward. Stay close to small forward, I'm say, I meant to say. First rebound will be on Marvin Williams to take one in. And now approaching two minutes of action here in the... Here's a screen for Acha Kupo. To the inside. There's the number pointer for Gonchakupo, and assist will be on Marvin Williams. Becoming a bigger part of the game. Bigger part of the game. That, that's what uh, that's what players mostly do. They hide, they hydrate, they get on the court, and they keep it practicing. Bucks trail by five. Kyle Corfer watches Rondo. Rolls over to Caruso. Over DiVincenzo, and his uh, second bucket will be on four. Like the number on his back. Ashtakumbo only making four points of this season. Bounce pass to Kyle Corfer. Pass to DiVincenzo. Corfer with the three. And again, two in a row. Not just the third first free pointer that was on the line, but he made a second one, and he counts that one as a three. 430 right now. Corfer has five points. It was not fair that he was gonna make the first three pointer for the uh for the game. And that will be the last touch by George Hill as as LA's ball keeps it going. Lopez all four players are checked out, and Chris all four Milton players are checked in. Corbin. McGee, James, Green, Green, and Bradley are checked in, in back in the starting Russia. five. Eric and all five South players are stepped out, but only Anshikupo back into point four. Danny Green over Davis. Davis goes back. Nice D covered by Brooke Lopez to pull up. Wesley Matthews, second time three-pointer. That is six points for Wesley Matthews to put it up in. About pulling the trigger. And they are trailed by one. Bledsoe watches Bradley. The Florida won't go in. Antetokounmpo sends out two rebounds in the game. Outstanding shooter. Antetokounmpo trying to make a put the ankle break on Davis, but McGee takes his first personal foul, and Antetokounmpo will go to the line to shoot two. 
Giannis is. Alex Jacopo was uh, was refer was referencing the game by his between the between the All Star and the rookie, noticing that uh, that he was able to play his game just like uh, just like the uh, last couple seasons in 2013 by the first time pick with the Bucks. He was saying with a lot of quotes of Antetokounmpo, and he says. Most games are always interest me when I first started playing basketball. But whenever players think about me, they might not know if they come up with a strange letter by Antetokounmpo or Kumpo. If you say, if, if one other person would say Kumpo, they got to say with a D, Antetokounmpo. And if it's a Greek free word, it's Antetokounmpo, Antetokounmpo. I just can't say that way. But that's all I can say. No good on the second free throw. The second free throw, no good for Antetokounmpo. That will be one free throw for him at the line. Expectations will Oh, McGee with the dunk. He finishes it right in the paint. And they are way, 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 way off the target in the paint. But they got to watch someone in the center as McGee was keeps dunking in the last time he was here. 318 left to go here, Matthews. Matthews to Bledsoe. Rolls it up. A second foul is going on McGee. Same thing, just like D. White Howard. But that's all that happens. It should never take that really long about the game that would never bring out to an easy challenge to go through. A lot of near missing element, it was not that good. But nobody was thinking about it. 313 left to be played on the court. Two shots will go is Bledsoe. Eric Bledsoe. First three pointer is good. Back kind of checked in for Wesley Matthews. As McGee summing out as Boris is checked in for JaVel McGee. Right now, just one shot left for Eric Bledsoe. Maybe the trio, maybe the dynamic trios will be uh, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Chris Middleton and Eric Bledsoe. If not, that may it might be the uh, it might be the uh, quads, dynamic quads that we were looking for. That was a nice block here by Brooke Lopez on LeBron James, but it still brings up LA ball. James in the corner, shooting it. Quiet it in. He makes another two to, to break to break the tie. And so it's Bledsoe. Here's Bledsoe. Made five points earlier after a three pointer. Middleton outside. Motion call. Lopez outside. And over Davis. Good. And there's the assist. That was on Chris Middleton. They still tied it up with the game, not giving up. Here's James. The Lakers shooting is definitely. He's making a lot of clutch shots that was going to go for every game ever happened. 2.16 left. Davis over on Chicupo. And we got a rejection by Chicupo. But unfortunately, James made another point. And they haven't been able to turn it. What a great uh, block moment here for Anshu Cooper to be blowing up. But just two minutes left. Connaughton with the shot fake. Lines Anshu Cooper, rolls it up. Another footer miss for Anshu Cooper. Unassisted by uh, Pat Connaughton. Here's Green. With the recover. Davis couldn't make it again. The Lakers beat them last time when the And that was the last time they beat it in game one by the start of the season. Whoa, what a nice dunk moment here for Brook Lopez, assist by from Lopez. Whenever he plays down there with Eric Letzis or Chris Milton, I don't know which one is which. 
And so it's the Lakers now. But for the Lakers, they made a strong winning move to start this finals right from game one of the season. I think that's what's happening before, before the game was releasing out into a number position. I don't know why they do that in the first place, but that's, but that's because of LeBron James. He's the greatest player. A second, another greatest player that in the uh, Hall of Fame history. Bradley fighting the ball is Middleton. He saves the ball, takes the first rebound of the game. Antikubo with an open look, and that puts him the photo right behind the three-point line after 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 Middleton takes the assist. That's number two. Bradley, the side Pretty assist. To the middle. He finds James. James with a roll up layup. Assist by Bradley. LeBron's got six. Six points for, for LeBron James. Bledsoe's going out the other way. Pass to Leonardo Cooper. Rolls over to Connaughton. Bledsoe with a pass to Bledsoe. He wants to go try again. Bledsoe with a pass to Bledsoe. He wants to go try again. Step in motion, no good. And it's out of bounds. That turned it over and it hit the backboard. You've got to be able to make that. You gotta, you gotta get that one back in. Green is subbed out. Cardwell Pope is checked in. And for the Bucks. Antetokounmpo and Brook Lopez are switching all over. Brook and Robert Lopez stays in. Davis spins it out and goes in with the dunk. So crazy. In crazy moments, just like Howard did. Final seconds left in the first half. Bledsoe has no time left. He's going to get it. And the first half has come to a close. 41 to 39 to score. Lakers are pulling up with a strong move in the first half. But the Bucks need to get into the second half. Now send over to the court side. DA. Thanks, Kevin. Contavious, you guys came up with a lot of energy in the first half. What got you going? Like you said, we came out with a lot of energy. Uh, we wanted to get easy bats on layups uh, and knock down shots. You got all that and more in that first half. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, DA. Game three will be back here at Milwaukee after the halftime show. Can the Bucks take the second half win? We'll find out after this. And we are ready to set things up in the second half as this game was just coming into a closing time, 41 to 39, although LeBron James was able to take eight shots from here. But he never sees that Ostakubo was settling up one point behind James. But he didn't seem to care about it all of a sudden with that game. But he but he needs to find himself out what he has to do. But for the second half, can the Bucks take this win from here? Let's find out now. Bledsoe to Ostakubo with the start. Reach and foul will be going on Danny Green, his first. That's his first foul. Finds Matthews, pass to Bledsoe, bounce pass on Jacupo. Pass to Bledsoe with a three, off the mark. Davis keeps it out with another rebound, but he didn't seem to look like he was going to get there. 6.30 left, Bradley missing. Bledsoe taking out a first rebound to take a look from the start of the second half. Now here's Bledsoe the coming in, the miss by Avery comes in, makes a reverse layup, first bucket for Middleton, and there they're, they're coming back in to keep it going. Nice reverse layup, doing really well. First bucket for Chris Middleton in the second half. And we are talking about Anthony Davis. How do you even put into words, Greg, what he is able to do? Any commentary it's about Anthony Davis. And he's entering the conversation among the best big men of all time. On a nightly basis, dominating in so many facets of the game. Really, it, it's remarkable. Now, here's a lot of remarkable here. That's all I need to know about that. Middleton, pass to Matthews. Inside. Pass to Brook Lopez, and there's your another shot for Brook with eight points. That will be the lead up to two pointer, 
and I think I've gotten the assist by Wesley Matthews with the first assist look. 526 left to go. 43 to 41 is your score. James keeps out a miss, and it's denied the blocksness of Lopez. What amazing ID this is that time that Brooke Lopez was coming in back at once and for all. Lopez against McGee. Matthews take the three. Way deep, but it went off the target. And it's Bradley with the it's ball. Bradley with the ball. Here comes the alley -oop. And he made the reverse layup for Anthony Davis, assisted by James. Crowds for the uh, Lakers are just well, well, well deserved it. But the Bucks, they don't care about it. They thinking Anthony Davis would have been back with the Pelicans. But it's really too late because a lot of new players are coming in right away. Shot off for Bledsoe is no good. 426 left to go. Green coming around. Pass to Bradley. Bradley to prevent James. James missed another three pointer outside. Ashikupo. Oh, he finishes off the drive and he comes up to hype. There's your slam dunk contesting of Ajdakumpo. That's nine points of the game and just 4.03 left. Timeout going on is LA Lakers. Just 4.01 left. Ajdakumpo, he might be going for another M going for, that, for another Jordan player of the game. We may not know what will happen. But that's that might be a solution. No, we couldn't shoot like that. Kyle Corper has checked in for Chris Middleton. And then it's Eli, Eli Sofa checking in for, uh, for uh, Ostacupo. And it's Howard Kuzma, Caruso, and Rondo. Caruso takes the first three pointer. For the first quarter, they make the league changing right over to pointing position. Hill, DiVincenzo, Marvin Williams are checked in for Bledsoe, Wesley Matthews. And, and Brooke Lopez. The kick out to Williams. Marvin Williams with the two. It's good. Right over Howard. And the Bucks, the Bucks take the another look of the switching back position. Like a switchback pointer. Good ball movement for the Lakers. Caruso. Oh, what a nice team for Marvin Williams to go by. DiVincenzo's got his first rebound of the game. But never got his point to show up, but no score for that time. Crawford finds Elias Sofa. Elias Sofa against Kuzma. Elias Sofa looking the ball. Pass to Kyle Crawford. Just four to shoot. DiVincenzo with the first. He missed it off. No points for DiVincenzo and no assist found for Kyle Crawford. James coming in. The pain pass to Corp. Kuzma, outside Rondo, outside Rondo taking the three deep, good! And that one making the first pointer. Yeah, every now and then, Rondo will surprise you with the occasional triple, showing it off there with range. Pass to Eli Sofa, rolls over to Kuzma, he gets it going in, and ties the game by 49. Nice, uh, nice, good, nice pass here for uh, Kyle Cooper to get through. As he did find a man himself to make the bounce pass. But the Bucks are just coming into a tight leading again. James against Corfer. Corfer going in. Oh, he missed the he missed the shot. Kuzma. Davis was saying, I that was not fair. If Kuzma made that alley goop, then that might be a big prop. Then we might have got one. And he did it. But he, but right now, what the heck happened? What just happened? He did. I thought he made that shot, but it went off. Well, unfortunately, he missed the first alley oop that time, but he did get a steal on the second one. But here's a shot for Kuzma. There he is. There's that shot for uh, Kuzma that brings him in, and the Bucks will call timeout here in a minute and 35 left. 51 to 40, 49 to score. The Bucks need to go with a different look of the offense once I get right into the intermission. And I'll get back in. 
Here are some new changes for the Bucks and the Lakers as Robin Lopez has checked in for, for Ely Sofa. And Kyle Korfer and Connaughton by Kyle Korfer. Robin Lopez going in. Shots good. Morris with the first personal foul on LA. Their second team foul. And one shot left for Robin Lopez. Marquise Morris doesn't seem to look at all with the distraction by the crowd. I mean, he improved his record. What the heck was that, Greg Anthony? What the heck was that, Chris Webber or Greg Anthony? I don't know which one. There's a lot of whoa moments here by the commentators. There might be just a couple of them. I don't know what just happened. <laughs> that's a, that's the only change I just that this happened here. I don't know. I might be gone out wrong. <laughs> Yeah, don't count on me. The free throw off from Ryan Lopez missed the well, first, but only two pointers no has made. He's a Cardwell Pope they didn't get there in, but Deep Intenso to take the second rebound. Six of ten from the field in the third. Ryan Lopez going back the other way. Robin Lopez taking the pass to Hill, rolls to Connaughton. Three pointer went off the range and no shot here for Connaughton to pull out in the second half. Guzman pass to Rondo. Rondo scanning the floor. Three seconds left in the third. Fifty seconds left. No jump ball called yet. But that happened in the second game and Rondo missed off the target and went off wide right in his hand in the paint. Billy Sofa outside. Connaughton tries to go for the screen. He didn't manage to get there that time because it almost went to the baseline. Here's Connaughton. Rolls it up. Connaughton takes a draw in two with five points. Connaughton's got the lead up to two now. And he's got the lead up by two. Assist by Ely Sofa. 23 seconds left in the third quarter. 20 seconds left. 53 to 51 is your score. Rondo against Gill. They're patient. Rondo going over to look for on the court. Caruso finding a screen, but it held that away with him. Hill roll over to Ilya Sofa, and there's the foul called on Ilya Sofa. 6.5 seconds stopped from the first quarter. That's not what Ilya Sofa was looking to do. He wasn't blocking it. And wasn't this just smacking it right out, right out from the elbow? Or the or the fire? I, I I just can't can't I can't think about what Kyle Kuzma was thinking. A lot of tattoos, crazy hair. It looks like he may be going out and uh, going for a, going for the alley again. Two shots for Kuzma. Come on, box. Fear the deer on Kuzma. Kuzma takes the first free throw. New changing here for the Lakers as Davis and Green are checked in for Marquise Morris and Russo as Carball Pope switches to shooting guard. One shot left for Kuzma. The second free throw is good. Good for Kuzma. Here's Hill. Gail might go for the boss meter. Can he get it? Nope, he didn't get there, but the tide went up by 53 and they evened up the quarter in the first quarter. Now the fourth quarter will be the sudden deafening battle matchup between James and Chris Middleton. But Ancha Jacumpo needs to get things strong by the final quarter. We'll be right back. Let's have a look at the State Farm assist of the game. Let's take a look at what the pick is between George Keel and Keith Morris. Robin Lopez with the whoa, with the whoa, 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 whoa moments. They're going for a weevil here. Whoa, Robin Lopez was smothering to the floor, shrinking the floor. He might be very good uh, back from the flashback in, back in 2018-19 with the Bulls. But that might be the different story for Robin Lopez to be here before Brooke Lopez was being played in with his brother. He, he, he puts it back. That's Jacopo setting it up with another rebound. Bledsoe rolls it back to Connaughton. 
Back to Bledsoe. Back to Bledsoe. To and here's Hans to Cooper over green. No shot made. They still even up the quarter. And Green's coming in. Rondo outside. Takes a three. But that's a tough D pulling up for Hans to Cooper to keep it going. Here he comes. Oh my goodness. Connaughton did find an open pass to cut Giannis, and he was going to go for the alley oop, but that dunk was on an easy roll. 6 8, 6 oh, 8 remaining. My apologies. Quarter of basketball, we're about a minute into it. out wants to get out of the way by Anthony Davis outside. to put it up in. Cardwell Pope against Matthews. Pass to he passed to Davis, to the three. He scores it up from the, from the outside, and they extend by one. The vision there from Caldwell Pope, looking to get I think yeah, Anthony going. Davis might be coming open. back during next season with the Lakers. Onto the Kumbo, that, on the seems, that seems to be to me that I know that Anthony Davis was on the cover. Against Green. I was not expecting to see that, but, that, but that's all I need to figure it out. But, but somehow. In NBA 2K20, NBA 2K19, it was Giannis on the group with the original cover. I haven't seen that one here before. Nothing just goes quite out at the same time. McGee with a strong dunking in the motion, and Milwaukee needs to take the another time out. 58 to 55 to score, 519 left we go. There are way too many to go up with the position. But anyways, I'm, to, I'm summing out Robin Lopez, and I'm going to bring back Brooke Lopez, uh, Brooke Lopez back in. And then I'm summing out Pat Connaughton, and I'll uh, change it to, uh, to uh, Chris Middleton uh, just before, uh, before Kyle Corbett gets back in. I'm going to do some flip pushing here. And then, um, and then, I'll, uh, and then that's all I need to go for. The Bucks are going back with another change here. We're back on the starting five right here. Rondo is checked out as Bradley will be checking in. Oh, here's Andre Tukumbo going with the fast break, but he passed to Glenzo. Hey guys, well, Mike Boone holds her head so fast for the team during his time now. And he's pushing them to empty the tank. He said, I know you're tired and it's been a tough game, but we can't hold back. If you're tired, come out. Otherwise, I want you full speed, guys. Two shots. Two shots will be on Chris Middleton, following up the foul, pulling up on Cardwell Pope, first personal foul. And they stop the clock, just 5.06 remaining. Milwaukee Bucks are trying to figure it out to come back in with another scoring change. Middleton hits the first free throw. That's the name what the All-Star comes up with. That's what you want to know about Chris Middleton to keep it going. His second free throw is good, and he takes four points on the board. I mean, you just expect him to make it. Wasn't expecting to see that one here, but that's all. It means. Bradley making the spin move. He kicks out to Green, past the Carball Pope. Middleton watches Carball Pope. Bradley uh, gets Bledsoe. Green, Green rolling over to Davis. Five seconds. Here's Davis, and it's rejected by the Greek freight. Bledsoe with a three, and he picks up a great assist on Antetokounmpo, the Greek freak. It looks like we got a free point range that takes, a, takes the lead by one, and that was a great moment to put Bledsoe right on the court and right from the start. Middleton against Carnival Pope. 420 to go. To the middle. Finds Davis. But it's taken away by Middleton. Giannis inside. Giannis, another one for Bledsoe. Amazing shot. Another assist by Hunter DeCoupo. My goodness. Nice shot for Bledsoe went with a long shot range. He was never he was never attempted to win it earlier by the rookie season, but he did by the uh, by the all-star moment. 
11 points for Bloodso. Green against Matthews. Matthews against Matthews against uh, Green. Davis against Antetokounmpo. And here's Bradley. Brooke Lopez stops it in from the inside the uh, ring. Using it to stifle shoot. Antetokounmpo going in, trying to stop on him. Oh, uh, and we got a offensive foul called on Antetokounmpo, and yes, that was the first charge foul for this season in the finals. Carball focus on that, LeBron James checked in, 3-3-1 three, three, to go. That was like not fair what Antetokounmpo was saying, say, Antetokounmpo was saying, that was like, the, that was, that was uh, very rough of that point. Although, I would have made this shot, but the ref called me the charge. Not just another look at the offensive drive, but that was very tough. He knocked out McGee, went too soon, and McGee was just, was just okay on the floor. And he, and he got, and he's up there fine. Timeout Lakers after the following up by the dunk by the Greek Freak. Oh my goodness. 65 to 58 to score. They are looking over to make the extension of the lead to pick up with uh, with seven. Just enough to make it make it through here. They're doing really well. I promise that. It's never gonna be that tough. But anyway, so I'm going to be making the uh, patient offense. And I'll get one of the, uh, I'm going to go back with the meeting rolls. And then, uh, and then I'll just go for a run transaction transition. Anyways, here's your Jordan player of the game, just 307 remaining. And this might be Antetokounmpo, another Jordan player of the game from the finals. He's anchoring it, but, Le but Anthony Davis was the first, uh, actually uh, LeBron James was the first one that reached in the, uh, in the uh, first uh, Jordan player of the game. And the most improved player was Anthony Davis that was been off in the row. Most improved player in the third game was on Eric Bledsoe with 11 points. Great assist for you now by Ostracumbo. Wesley Matthews takes the first foul for the reach. We're down to three minutes. Green with the three. And they are not turning it up with another shot. Another contact. miss. Another drive for Ronson Kumpo. And they are extending the lead. Kills it from the paint. What a dunking record that puts it up by Ronson Kumpo. The streak on the run. 2.43 left to go. Matthews got the ball. Going again. Oh! What a great drive. Great steal for Wesley Matthews has been brought up. And he says, says, Giannis, this is for you. Do it again. And Giannis goes, goes for it and dunks it. Whatever he can do. Here's Bradley. McGee trying to break through. Bradley trying to make the layup, but it's one up missing again. All of a sudden, the Lakers are getting tired right now in the third game. But that's going to be their never win for uh, for the Bucks if the if they win the third game. Went out of bounds. Well, that's uh, didn't see that. Didn't see the out of bounds baseline at all. transition. Defense checked in for Matthews. Intentional fouls that. A lot of intentional fouls were being put up on the Bucks, but some intentional fouls were on the Lakers. Home fans or the fans of the team. A lot of fans of the team were just going way nuts. I mean, you still have to have defense in the game. A lot of smarting defense, but that's all the motion that they need to go for. Two minutes left in the final quarter. Here we go, fans. Usually on those breaks, it's usually because the third game's almost over right now. Let's see who's going to win. Green! Green! Pointer, and he is on a green light with a three-pointer, assist by Davis. Now the second and last timeout will be called by Milwaukee Bucks with a minute and 49 left to go. So anyway, I don't have any suggestion to call for that one here, but that's, uh, that might be the only solution that they, that they need to go through. Um, I'm subbing Brown in. I'm bringing in Sofa and then uh, Ash in the center. 
while Eric Bledsoe is subbed out, and then Hill will be checked in for some source. I wasn't expecting to see that one here, but you know what? I'll sub out Ashton Kubo, and yeah. Let's bring Robert Lopez in, or Brooke Lopez in. And then let's go for, let's switch it up into a, into a try, into a swinging motion. And that's all I got. A different look for Milwaukee. Ilya Sova, he's checked in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Sterling Brown comes in for Chris Middleton. And it's Hill in for Eric Hill Johnson. coming in. And they have 46 left. Yes. Brown oh, rolls over to DiVincenzo. And the bounce pass went off. Hill coming in. Oh, whoa! James! Oh, no. Everybody get up. Everybody duck. James is coming on to attack the rim. Oh, my gosh. Guys, you just did not know what happened here. If the Greek freak would be suddenly making it into an overreaction, then he would never say it again. A lot of contact and fouls going on the Lakers, but that will be Anthony Davis' first foul. Yeah, Anthony Davis uh, didn't seem to get there in time. Second team foul will go on. The Lakers. Really so far. Shooting two. Just a minute and twenty left on stop on the clock. Take a break. Take a break. Two stop. He drops, he drops it in. Makes it a seven-point lead. Makes a seven-point lead. Ilya Sova played the first five time points for Ilya Sova. With the Bucks, he bounced around since then. A lot of bouncing Big around here. A lot of moments that we are just looking for. I think Ilya Sova might need to reach out for his next season with the Bucks without any trading team at all. He drops both, and they are extending the lead up by 12. Minute and 17 left is James. Only the attacking where it was amazing, but another attack was Anthony Davis. Entering the game, it was 10.6, 10, 10 assists in the game from the uh, NBA Finals at that moment. Here's DiVincenzo. Brooke Lopez slips the three-pointer in and swishes. Assist by DiVincenzo. Brooke Lopez takes 11 points with Eric Bledsoe, but here we're, we're going coming down in one minute. Here's McGee. There are three dunks going back to back. McGee with eight, and Brooke Lopez with 11 points. But only that, only the block that was ever made was Brooke Lopez. What an astonishing game that was his. Comes up again, makes it in. Last, second and last timeout will be on LA Lakers with 45.4 seconds to go. And a Bucks fan goes wild. A lot of the lessons are pulling out way that deep in the, the game. That's, that's all I need to know about it. Just a game that we love. Just the last, uh, just the last team here. I'm going right down through the uh, playthroughs as I'm bringing Brook Lopez to take the uh, playthrough. Just pace and then limit the transaction. That that's what I need to go for. Um, I don't need any changes right now. I'm all good. A couple of players are swapping in for the Lakers as Dudley is checked in for Green. And then it's Cardinal Pope checking in for, uh, for James. D.Y. Howard checking in for Anthony Davis. And very nice, very nice jump, jump shot, jump shot for Cardinal Pope. 36 seconds left. Hill rolling it out along. He has 11, and he has 11 points that he has, and now he has 14 points. Vincenzo. pass to Hill. Hill, bounce pass to Ilya Silva. Here's Ilya Silva. Over Dudley. Stolen by it's stolen by Caruso. Three on three. Last changing here for the Lakers. Caldwell Pope kicks And Caruso taking the shot. And a miss there. It is no good at all. Bucks win 
wins game three. 77 to 69 is your final score. They break the series two to one in the finals. But the game's still going on. As uh, as for tomorrow, they'll be playing game four against uh, the Lakers on June 8th. Now here's DA on the sideline. David. Thanks, Kevin. Wesley, nice win after the last loss. How important is it to win these home games? We need all of them. We need every single home win we can get. And uh, like you said, it was a good bounce back win for us. And uh, we got to get ready for our next game. Great job, Wesley. Thanks again. Back to you, Kevin. Wesley Matthews, just nine points. What a great game. And he's, he's got a lot of training to get there done. Thank you, Scott. Thank you guys so much for watching uh, Game 3 in the NBA Finals. We'll stick it up with uh, on June 8th in Game 4 as the Bucks rematch against the Lakers by Fiserv.forum. So thank you all for tuning in for the, uh, for the Finals, and we'll see you again on the next game, part of the series. So once again, Bucks lead the series 2-1 to one over the Lakers. And as it being said, till next time, peace out, bitches, for as a while as the NBA Finals dial. See you next time.